Okay, so today I'm going to be talking about slew mode, which is something that only exists in the simulator and not in real life, and you'll see why in a second. Slew mode allows you to put your plane in a given position and attitude without having to fly it there in the first place. One of the more common uses is to practice different scenarios. Say you want to practice landing over and over, instead of actually taking off and getting your plane in position for the landing, you can slew your plane into that position and start the simulation from that point. There are dozens of keys mapped to slew mode in the game, but you really only need to learn a couple of them to be able to get going with it. The first and most important one is entering and exiting slew mode. You do that by pressing the Y button. So once you press Y, everything in the game is sort of going to freeze and you can't control uh, any of the flight surfaces anymore. Up down, as it says, allows you to go up or down as you need to with the F4 and F1 keys. Back and forward allow you to move the plane forward or backwards as needed. Yaw left and right allow you to turn the plane left or right. And pitch up or down allow you to change the pitch of the plane to be more pitched up or more pitched down. Once you're in position, then you just hit the Y key and you're going to exit slew mode. All right, let's pop into the simulator and see what that looks like in the game. All right, so I've loaded the game at an airport. I actually chose one of the airports in the landing challenges just to make it a little bit more interesting. So the first thing I like to do when uh, doing a slew before taking control of the plane is to actually put the simulator in active pause. You can do that either by hitting the pause button or you can go to the menu here and just hit the pause button right there. Active pause allows you to still control the different surfaces of the plane. As you can see, I can still turn the rudder, the ailerons and everything else and even the throttle but we aren't going to move. The game is paused but allows you to control the surfaces so it allows you to prepare yourself for whatever scenario you're going to practice. Alright, with that done, then I just toggle into slew mode by pressing the Y button and you see that the angle changes a little bit and now I'm going to slew myself into position with those keys that we looked at previously. So I'm going to use F4 to give myself a little bit of altitude say about 7,200 or so. There we go. Now I'm going to move forward a little bit with the num keys. I'll move myself to about there. Next I'll turn myself around with the yaw keys to align myself with the runway which is right there. And finally I'm going to pitch down a little bit. Yeah that seems about right. Alright and now that I'm in the position I want I'm just going to exit slew mode and the plane won't move because we are still on the active pause right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my power where I want it at around 3000 RPM. Set my flaps how I want them. And then I'm just going to wait for the airspeed to stabilize. And once that's done, what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to go save the simulation. So I'm going to press escape. You hit load save, you press the save button and you just give your flight a name and you click save and you're all set. So the next time you want to practice the scenario, you just go into free flight, you can hit the load button, choose your flight and it'll load you up in that exact position where you are right now. All right, we're pretty much stabilized and ready to go. So I'll just come off the active pause and we will start our descent towards the runway. Uh, so needless to say, you can only use slew mode in free flight. You can't use it in any of the activities. It would be a little bit of a cheat if you could do so, actually. <laughs> I think we're looking okay. Coming in a little bit steep, but I didn't back up quite enough, or quite as much as I should have, actually. I'm trying to keep that airspeed a little higher than usual just in case I need to go around. There we go. I'll add the second level of flaps now to really slow us down. And we'll add some power so we don't stall. It's looking good. I'm going to switch to the side slip in a couple of seconds just so we can align ourselves with the runway. Otherwise, I think we're looking good. 
it's very easy to think you're a little high on this approach because of the optical illusion of the wind and we are a little slow there let's add a little bit of power oh there we go and there we go just used a rudder to straighten this out we got a little bit of a stall warning but we're down wasn't super pretty, but we did manage to make it down in one piece, and as uh, pilots like to say, any landing you can walk away from is a good one. So I hope you learned something useful with regards to slew mode in this game, and you can use it to practice different scenarios that you would like to try without having to fly your plane there in the first place. If you have any questions about slew mode or anything else, feel free to pop them in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.